We are making shrimp toast. So it is, shrimp you know, toast. the sh holiday season is coming around very soon. Uh -huh. And I always have people just sort of bring their favorite dishes while I make the main event, perhaps. Uh -huh. Like you make the turkey, you make a roast, whatever. Right. Make everybody else bring the rest of the food. So this is something that you could put out. It can sit out for a little bit and still taste great. And it's yeah. not too challenging. So do you want to come and help me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> we are going to first make sort of a shrimp mousse. We're calling it a mousse, but it's not. Not exactly, it's sort of loose terminology. So we're gonna dump a bunch of ingredients in. Okay. I thought, Ben, do you wanna see if you can separate that egg for us? Uh, the this egg, one? And, yeah, oh, right there? separate the yolk and the white. We've got some over here, but I, I just kinda wanna see if that. you can do it. No, 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 crack the I, egg. Crack it like. Crack the egg. Yeah. And then, and there, and yeah, I, you just wanna oh. save the white and then put the yolk into that little bowl. Oh, I'm getting egg all over my fingers. I'm gonna have to get oh. seven gallons I think of Purell. I was, kind of, I was having a bet with myself with whether you oh. can separate it or not. Oh, oh God. God. You know what, perfect, we've got some right here that's already Okay. Slippery little suckers. I wasn't sure if that would work for you. Good. All right, we're gonna put on our machine and we're gonna start drizzling in all these ingredients. You wanna help? Okay. So you're gonna put in the egg whites. All right. There we go, just right in here. Right in that little yeah. thing. I have never oh, used yeah. this contraption. It all is, right. it, it chops for you. Oh, yeah. Well, we just dump everything in. There, right. maybe we'll turn off. We put in a little bit of sugar. We're gonna put in a little bit of salt. That was some egg right, whites. It's gonna fluff it up a little bit. You can grab, this is some sambal that we're gonna put in. And this is one of your flavor. best sellers. Like, this is very, very popular. This is, I actually. It's like, um, number one. I was just working at Duck Duck Go to our Chinese restaurant last night, and it became, now that it's colder weather, it's selling really well again, so yeah. it's a little bit like, kind of heartier. It tastes like the best grilled cheese you've ever had, but it's made with shrimp on toast. Oh, yeah. So there we go. So we're just gonna put this back on, drizzle in a little bit of cream. All right. And there we go, this is basically our shrimp. I that little. I mean, yeah. look at all the new things we're learning welcome, already, welcome. just at the first step. Let's see what else we can learn over here. <laughs> so we've got our shrimp mousse right here. We're gonna put in a bunch of little bits of shrimp. Stir okay. it up, this is gonna help add a little bit of texture to it. When buying uh -huh. shrimp, do you go do you go de-veined and detailed, or do you? You can, so we did, we end up buying ours where we peel and vein them ourselves because they're less waterlogged that way. Right. But I get that it also takes a lot of time and your fingers smell like shrimp yeah. and it's this whole bit. Right. Yeah. If you buy frozen shrimp, that are already peeled into veined, just kind of put them on towels and get all the water out of it. Yes, yeah. we yeah. did That's that once. We bought frozen secret. shrimp and it got, it's soggy. It's gross. It was like a little it's gross. It's a little bit soggy. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that you do that. So we've got okay. a piece that's already going. I'm going to flip this. Do you want right. to grab that spatula and give right. that a little flip? Or hold it in the air for a second. So wait, so I can squeeze some extra butter under there. Oh, yeah. See, like, while no one's looking, we just we put a little butter. bit of butter under there. There we go. Now flip it? Yeah. Girl in the Goat Whoa. just celebrated its eighth anniversary, right? It's true, yes. We, um, <laughs> it's so your wonderful. first restaurant. Yeah. It's very Great. exciting. So we have Girl in the Goat's eight years old. Little Goat is a little over five years old. Uh -huh. um, and Duck Duck Goat is about the same age as my two-year-old. So it's just over two years old. Um, that whole opening restaurant while really pregnant thing is, you know, it's just fun. It was <laughs> it's great. It's a blast. It's it was a blast. blast. Um, so oh, we're just going on the griddle with this one, too. How many restaurants wow. do you want to have eventually, like, at the in the end scheme of things? I don't, we're actually opening a new one in LA next June. Oh, that's um, wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. I was just thinking, so I live in Chicago, and you know, come January or February, I'm going to be like, oh, I really need to get to LA. Things are going really bad. I got to jump out there. Yeah. So come to Nashville. See. You got to open a place Nashville. in Nashville. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah. It is. It's true. The Shrimp on Toast in Nashville. So Shrimp on Nashville? Toast in Nashville. That's the name of the new restaurant. That's better. It's a... Shrimp on Toast with goats in with Nashville. Goat. With yeah, the goat. There we go. The girl, we the goat, the shrimp, and the toast. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to like bring you on my team. We'll do it more creative, on. more creative. That's and I, you don't really like mayonnaise, do you? I, it's my I, nightmare. But go it's ahead. Right. Well, why don't yours. you you want to help me make okay. it then? Here, I'll whisk it. You guys don't. Yeah. 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 Whatever you want. Oh, I need to face my fears. We're gonna I'll put in a little more sambal. I wanted to show you guys that. By the way, this is a it's a chili, basically just a chili paste. It's okay. really easy to find at the grocery stores yeah. these days. Um, but just something great to have in your cupboard all the time. Awesome. So look at you. Look at you. You're stirring and you're so scared right now. We're gonna put in a little bit of sesame oil. Yeah. Do you wanna dump those in, Kelly? Just a little bit of sambal. Here. What is this? A little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of sambal. Okay. You're and mayonnaising just... up. I'm mayonnaising yeah. up. Yeah. Not bad joke. I'll I'm go back to the drawing board. <laughs> there we go. There. What about this here? I, it's funny, my husband will not put mayonnaise on anything. Yeah, you can dump yeah, it right exactly. in right. as well. Um, and New Yorkers just a little bit Well, of... hell, oh. there we go. I mean, uh, these sous chefs today. I'm already on. I'm already on the edge, Kelly. Don't drop things on me, please. That's it's perfect. Hot, These yeah. are so good simple. though because this will let it not taste like mayonnaise, all those ingredients. Exactly, so you're basically so. taking a bunch of ingredients that were in our shrimp mousse and then putting them into the mayonnaise so cool. you can bring out that flavor. So you wanna Ooh. let that get toasted? You wanna let it get nice it and toasty. Uh -huh. Let's see, should we put more butter under there? Yes. Always. 
When I was growing up, my mom said, I would always hang out in the kitchen, and I, a lot of chefs kind of learn from their mom, and some chefs learn like their mom's a bad cook, so they have to fend for themselves. Right. And my mom was an amazing cook. Um, and she said that I was always in the kitchen just sticking my hands and just eating oh, the butter yeah. whole. Yeah. Although I think she actually used margarine um, for a time <laughs> period, so I probably have a lot of margarine that I've eaten in my lifetime. But Butter's it's the I'm... only thing that I ate as, a, as an infant. I would, instead of butter, I would go, boo! And they would just shove it. In, I would just shove it in my face, and it was the only thing yeah. I ate. And that's I feel like why this I'm explains, so. Still does that. This explains yeah. so much. Do you um, host Thanksgiving <laughs> at your home? Yeah, we yeah. do. We host Thanksgiving. I think, like I said, I like to do the turkey, oh, and then yeah. you can have everybody else bring their favorite side dish, and it gives kind of a story of their family and why yeah. they made that side that's dish. Cool. Um, the first time I ever made green bean casserole was uh -huh. when I was in culinary school. Um, well, I used to always make it with the canned cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna drizzle a little on here. All right. Although those chilies are making. I, it I've, that I've drizzled before. Mine never try? looks never, never looks good though. You tried doing try. it. Is there a there's trick a, to drizzling? A chili we believe in you. Don't we? We believe well. in you, man. You can do okay, it. Here we go. Shake it up. It's not gonna do work. it. Oh. Oh, there it goes a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at you, Picasso. You're like. I should have brought you out when we were food styling the book. Oh no. Oh no. I got stuck. I mean, it looks beautiful. We can yeah. still taste. Well, you can taste one without the mayonnaise. You do the drizzly part. I'll do the one that had a light misting. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. I'll do a drizzle. I'm, a, I'm drizzle. a big fan of the mayonnaise. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Cheers Stephanie. to goats. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, love. Stephanie Izard. Her book, Gather and Praise, is available now.